माई स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बेस्ड सिस्टम सो एक्चुअली माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज़ नथिंग बट इट इज़ अ सी पी यू आई ऑलरेडी सेट सी पी यू इज़ अ सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ रजिस्टर्स एंड एथमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट एंड कंट्रोल यूनिट सो दैट इज़ अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर वॉट इज़ अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बेसड सिस्टम वॉट एक्जैक्टली दिस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बेसड सिस्टम जस्ट लाइक ए कंप्यूटर इफ यू टेक कंप्यूटर वॉट इट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एक्चुअली अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर बेसड सिस्टम और एलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम यू कॉल इट एज एन एलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम सो वॉट एवर द सिस्टम दैट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर दैट सिस्टम यू कॉल इट एज एन एलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम सो दिस सिस्टम इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिस्टम हार्डवेयर सिस्टम हार्डवेयर एंड सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो दिस माइक्रो प्रोसेस बेस्ड सिस्टम्स आर ऑल सिस्टम्स यू दैट्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर दैट इज अ सीपीयू दैट यू कॉल इट एज इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम सो दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम्स इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स सिस्टम हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सो व्हेनेवर दिस टू विल बी देयर देन ओनली योर सिस्टम विल वर्क सो व्हाट आर द सिस्टम हार्डवेयर व्हाट आर द हार्डवेयर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द सिस्टम हार्डवेयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रीट कॉम्पोनेंट्स so whatever the hardware that you have taken that consisting of some discrete components and components connected to bus components connected by bus so those you call it as a system hardware so whatever the system you have taken that system is having that hardware system is having discrete components and co and the components which are used in the dis, uh, we call it discrete components and the, that components are connected by use of buses okay so discrete components are nothing but microprocessor so microprocessor memory and input output devices so these uh, uh, microprocessor memory and input output devices you call it as a discrete components if you want to connect uh, the communication between these components you need some buses means the communication lines those are the address data and control bus so these two you call it as a system hardware so whenever you ask uh, what is a microprocessor based system actually this microprocessor based systems are or or you call it as electrical systems so whatever the electrical system you have taken that consists of system hardware as well as system software the system hardware means all you have to talk about the hardware parts that are present in the computer not only computer uh, the microprocessor based system so the system hardware consists of some discrete components those are the microprocessor memory and input output whereas the, a communication between these lines you need some extra system hardware that is address bus data bus and control bus now coming to the system software so what is the system software a system software is nothing but it is a group of program you call it as a group of program that monitors that program monitors the function of entire system so it is completely uh, activating the entire hardware components so uh, what the system software is nothing but it consisting of some group of programs that monitors the function of entire system so whatever the components that is they uh, in general to activate those components to work those components we need some system software okay so the microprocessor based system consisting of system hardware and system software now coming to the next point so actually whatever the microprocessor unit you have taken the microprocessor unit communicates communicate with memory and io so i already said these are the discrete components microprocessor memory and io so these microprocessor you need communicate with memory and io through uh io using system bus so i already said so whatever the uh, uh, microprocessor unit you, you are taken that unit is communicate with memory and input output devices using system 
bus. So the system bus are consisting of three. Address bus, data bus, and control lines. So this system bus is consisting of address bus, data bus, and control lines. So address bus, uh, you call it as it is a unidirectional bus. Address bus is an unidirectional bus. Why it is unidirectional bus? Because the microprocessor you need communicate with memory and the I/O uh, with the help of address bus. Only this is a unidirectional because uh, the data that is sent to the microprocessor unit, the memory does not require any address because the only mi one microprocessor is present in the system. So directly the memory will goes to that processor. Okay. So, whereas the micro processor unit want to send the data to memory or input output device, it needs address because you can connect more uh, memories and more input output devices means the external devices you can connect. So, the micro processor unit wants to know to which device from uh, to which device I have to store the data from where I have to store the data. So, for that case, the micro processor needs address needs address to store the result whatever the data so the microprocessor unit needs address to store the result whereas memory and io no need to uh, know the address of microprocessor unit because every device will know the uh, only one processor is there so directly the memory or input output will send the data to the directly to the processor so that's why the address bus you call it as a unidirectional bus only the processor will uh, wants to know the address of memory and uh, some external devices but the external devices no need to know the address of the processor because only one is there okay so this is an unidirectional and that will be connected to memory and io addresses whereas coming to the data bus so data bus is a bidirectional why it is a bidirectional bus? Because uh, the processor wants to send the data and the memory wants to send the data to processor and processor wants to send the data to memory. The input devices wants to send the data to processor and the processor was sent to data to the output devices. So that's why it is a bidirectional. And it transfers, transfers binary data and instructions. So, only the data bus will handle only the binary information. So, it transfers binary data and instructions. Now, coming to the control lines. What is the use of the control lines in system bus? It read and write timing signals. So, when I have to send and when I have to uh, read, everything will be the, based on the control line. So, it uh, decides when to read and write the timing signals. Okay. So, this is a uh, microprocessor based system. Now, let us see the diagram. So, this is the diagram microprocessor based system. I said a microprocessor unit and some input output devices and the memory. ROM is a memory, read write memory is a RAM, input port, switches, and output port. So, here everything will be connected with the system bus. The system bus consisting of address bus data bus and this is a control lines the control lines is always handling read and write signals so this is the control lines okay so this microprocessor is connecting to uh, it this is address bus is unidirectional so the processor microprocessor uni, uni, uh, unit need to know the address of rom address of read write memory address of input devices okay and address of the output devices so it wants to know the address so then only the processor will send that information to that particular port or particular memory okay and the data bus is a bi-directional so this is a bi-directional symbol is here so this is a unidirectional and this is the bi-directional okay so this is a bi-directional here we can and the control signal, uh, uh, it ha holds the read and write signals. 
data bus holds the data and address bus holds the address from where we ha it has the processor has to send the information okay and this is the processor unit so this is about microprocessor based system thank you